Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for tuning in and taking your own time out to check out this final spoiler free review on episode 7 and 8 which will be hitting Shudder and AMC Plus on Thursday the 11th of April. But thanks as always to the guys over at Shudder, i got to check this one out a little bit early. So yes, this will be spoiler free but I will touch on the events that happen at the end of episode 6 and that will go on for episode 7 and 8 which I will discuss. And also if you are interested on the channel, probably a day or two after this i will also be doing a full spoiler review of the series including all the deaths included as well so let's get straight into it we pick up right where episode six left off with the death of dr israel now of course dr israel was murdered by the widow and we kind of start this episode near enough where rikers finds the body of dr israel and it is left in kind of like a brutal state, of course, being like electrocuted and kind of like limbs torn off and all that kind of uh, juicy stuff, so to say. So we have that going on here. We also have a kind of vision at the start of the episode where George's has like a nightmare, so to say, about the widow. And it's some really cool visuals there. That's all I will say in regards to that. It's not very long, but it, it's also pretty cool uh, what they add into that kind of visual spectacle, so to say. We also get some more kind of backstories on our sister's character. And yeah, you know, of course, the three sisters, so to say. We get some backstory on them and I think it's about time because the series hasn't really focused a lot on their kind of backstories, mainly just trying to sell Verdi off, which of course she's now with Basil. So yes, we get a little bit more on Basil and we also get a little bit more about the other two sisters and kind of like what's driven them a little bit with their history and their past and maybe kind of any like kind of grudges against like one another. So we get a little bit more story and contextualization there, which, which is cool. Uh, I like that they actually finally got to explore a little bit further and in depth with their characters. And then for kind of like the juicier part of episode seven is we get two deaths in this episode, one by the widow and one not by the widow. That's all I'm going to say, guys. We get two deaths. Um, two pretty brutal ones as well. I will say that. I really like the gore effects and practical effects that they use for those. And then the last note that we need to end this episode on, guys, is you get an inkling pretty much telling you who is the widow. Uh, all I'm going to say is if you've been following my episode watch-alongs from number one up until now, I've already mentioned several times who my guest was. I may have been right. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. So you guys will just have to tune in and watch for yourselves. If that was right, if your guesses was right, it'll be interesting to know if you guessed right or if you didn't. Um, so yes, we get a little bit of an inkling about the ending and who the widow actually is. And that is our recap for episode seven. Now let's move on to episode eight. Okay, so if you're watching this part here, I am going to be touching on a little bit that happened in episode 7, but not too much, just for if you are wanting to watch both of these episodes. So, of course, the ending of episode 7 leads with um, Rikers and Regina Simcoe having kind of like a night of passion. So, of course, they wake up. There's a little bit kind of conversation there, and we kind of see a little, little bit like the aftermath of their kind of like night of passion as such, which, yeah, I am going to say that I'm not really too crazy on but besides that in this episode we get quite a few little juicy details so to say uh, Basil gets a package of one of the victims in episode 7's head into a package uh, that was pretty cool effect I really liked how they did that uh, but also we get Basil proposing to Verdi as well which is kind of like a big story here and kind of like a wrap up in an extent of the story of what it's basically been all around this entire time with the sisters and Basil. So we get that in this episode. And then the other kind of big plot points that we need to touch on is three more things, really. We learn kind of like a full story of like Margaret Maha and kind of like the ending and wrap up of that story. Anything that is attached to that story that it kind of affects in the present day without saying too much. But also, if you're kind of wondering about maybe the England, the end of episode seven and going into this final episode of eight, I will say that the Widow's actual identity, if you weren't sure or you were just wondering a shadow of a doubt, is revealed in the first 10 minutes in this kind of 44 minute episode, I believe how long it is. So yes, we do get the Widow's true identity in episode 8, fully confirmed within the first kind of 10 minutes. And we also do have one death 
in this episode right at the end and kind of ending the series and it's an interesting take on what they do with the deaths anyway that all I will say. So yeah, that's basically about it guys. That's basically what happens in seven and eight episodes without touching into any spoilers and basically tiptoeing around the whole thing because I don't want to spoil it for you guys if you want to be very intrigued as to how this all happened and what happens in these episodes. But anyway, I just want to thank you for taking your own time for joining me for these spoiler free episode reviews. If you have, if it's your first one here, if you've been watching them since episode one, I honestly generally really appreciate and appreciate your support. I will just ask if you've enjoyed the video, uh, give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe by clicking the red button down below so I can see you again on a future video. I've also launched merch so you can actually get a hold of some Did You See That official merch by clicking the link down below in the description box. But over on my Patreon, membership start from £2 per month. You can also request for me to watch movies and review them here onto the channel. Plus, it includes so many more perks. So definitely click that link down below, guys, in the description box to join Patreon today. And I also want to give a big thank you to all my awesome supporters over on Patreon who help really support my channel. And they also have YouTube channels as well. So their names will be down below in the description box. Please go subscribe to them and go show them some love. And until the next time, I see you guys. I'll be seeing you later. Mm -hmm.